my name is Vanessa Montoya and I'm going to be talking about some studies we did in my research methods class at St. Edward's University this fall semester. Um, we ran some studies to find some effects on effects or relations between social media use and psychological well-being. Um, we ran study one was a correlational study. Our research team posted a survey we made on, qual on Qualtrics to our social medias and had 50 455 participants um, complete the survey and fit our requirements being fluent English speakers. Um, in the survey, they were asked to recall over the past three weeks how many times they used social media, if they were active or passive users. And an active user we defined as someone who is commenting, liking, sharing things, posting things, being engaged with the social media. And uh, passive users were defined as people who just um, scroll, didn't like anything or comment, just basically like being trolls, trolly behavior. Um, sorry, I'm referring to my notes here. Um, they completed the Spain scale for positive and negative emotion and dissatisfaction with life scale and also a demographic um, survey. The social medias that we included for the study include Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, Pinterest, and Instagram. And they found our study on our social medias. We posted a link on our social medias or emailed it and it was like a snowball effect um, you could share and we can get more participants that way. Um, and according to our correlational output, there was a positive correlation between positive emotion and active social media use. And there was a negative correlation between life satisfaction and passive social media use. Um, some strengths of the study, we had a large sample size. We were able to increase our external validity um, to generalize our results. The sample was also fairly diverse, and sex, age, and race was also a big plus. Um, and there was no artificial manipulation, and we were able to general and we are able to generalize our findings to real life studies. Um, a limitation to this study is that since we did post um, the link to the survey on our social medias, um, there's a limit. There's a limitation as to who can find our survey. Um, we made some conclusions to how we could have gotten these results and we were i thought that maybe with more positive emotion that the reason why positive emotion and active social media were correlated is because of a feeling of social connectedness with your friends and family um but especially if they don't live in the same area talking to them over social media or seeing them on your news feed could um, make you happier um social capital like when people you post a life event on your facebook feed and people like it and share it. Social capital is um, something that humans like. And perhaps there's a negative correlation in passive social media use and life satisfaction due to social comparison of other people's lives. Um, when you see somebody like in Cabo and you're like, I want to go there. Social comparison, it happens all the time. Um, study two was an experimental design since we couldn't de determine causality or directionality in study one since it was a correlational study. Um, this experimental design was able, enabled us to expand that. Um, so we had some research questions for study two, um, what was the main effect of social media use and psychological well-being? Um, does social media use interact with gender to affect positive well-being? And the third is how gender, gender interacts with social media use. Um, as research team, we ran a two by three between subjects ANOVA, and we had 130 participants in our study. In this study, uh, we assigned uh, participants to condition of no social media use, pass passive social media use, and active social media use. If they were assigned to the no social media use, they were um, they did a survey questionnaire, excuse me, uh, 55 questions, just trivia style, like Austin is the capital of Texas, true or false, things like that, and. Um, if they had active, so if they were assigned to active social media use, they were instructed to go and be active on social media for five minutes and then come back and complete our survey. And passive was to passively use social media use and then come back to complete the rest of the survey. Um, so when we frame the results for this one, first we examine how social media use affects well-being. Um, then we examined how social media use and gender affect life satisfaction and found no significant main or interaction effects. 
Um, then we examine social media use and gender affect, um, how does social media use and gender affect positive emotion and found no significant manner interaction effects. And finally, we examine how social media use and gender affect negative emotion and we actually found a, a significant interaction there. That was our only one. Um, we ran this study because it's very prevalent to college students and mostly anybody in the world. Social media use is used worldwide, millions of people, and sometimes we have more than one social media. I personally have like three or four that I use constantly, and I don't know where I would be if I didn't have my phone in my hand and scrolling to see what my friends are doing in their rooms at 3 a.m. So this is a very relevant design experiment um, for everybody, and yeah, I hope you guys like it. Thank you.